That Meps, wherever I go, folks, wherever I go. Love that Meps. Look at that. What a beauty. What a freaking beauty. Oh, man. Let me land you. Come on. Let me land you. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the channel. So one of the great things about Florida is just phenomenal is that you can pretty much throw a stone in any direction and find some fishable water. Like even in the most urban environments, you can find some just incredible fishing with some wild species as well. So if you missed days one and day two, part one of this trip we did with the Legion of Anglers, make sure you go back and check those out. I'll leave links to both of them above. But for today, the first half of this, we're going to target the infamous clown knife fish. So we'll see how that unfolds for us. See what other species we find out here in these canals because you just never know. And if you have any questions on gear, tips, tactics, things like that, make sure you stick around to the end of the video and then see the video description for links to all the gear. Let's get to the fishing. All right, folks, we are here for the clown knife. From what I heard, it's a very tough fish. Oh, oh God, fish on. Nice bass, nice bass. There we go. That's a nice catch. First cast in here. Very nice. That is on an underspin. And I'll get the name of the soft plastic from Jared. I'm not sure what it is. Cool little lure though. That's a trocar underspin. And there's the bass. Beauty that you are. Oh, there was a clown knife. I just saw one rise. 100% that was a clown knife. All right, bud. A hundred percent that was a clown knife that rose. Nice bass on, folks. Nice bass. And ow. There she is. Nice fish. I'd probably put her... She's kind of thin. Hey, hey thanks! <laughs> <laughs> Folks happy out here. I like it. All right, beauty. Yeah. Mwah. All right. There he is. Boom. That was a snakehead all day. Why did it not hook up? Folks, got two Oscars swimming in front of me. Ooh. Oh, you almost had it. You're gonna be quicker than that. Ooh, I thought he had it. Thought he had it. Hello. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey, just calling to check on you. I'm doing pretty well. I mean, there's uh, some certain fish I'm going for today I haven't caught yet, but I'm catching some other ones and I'm still doing all right. I can't believe you caught the snake here when you first, first couple of hours. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it was within my first, hold on. Some idiot going by. Yeah, I honestly caught him within the first, probably five or 10 minutes of fishing. I know, right? Oh, fish. There we go. Nice one. Love you too. Bye. That is without a doubt my PB of this species. And I think, I think that's a cichlid. Gorgeous specimen. Fought really hard. I think we're going to make you part of a catching hook soon. Maybe not you in particular, but your species. So I've heard that they're really good eating. And this is a good eating size kind of teeth are actually kind of serious. I don't think I want to thumb that. <laughs> but there she is again. All right, you. Nice one. Now I'm watching these darn clown knife fish rise, but they won't bite a thing. I've heard that the clown knives, you almost need live bait if you want to have a real good shot at them. So going for them my first time and you know, relying almost exclusively on, not even almost, relying exclusively on artificials is, is 
definitely a challenging way to go about trying to catch your first clown knife. Ooh, something crushed it. Probably a cichlid or a red devil or something. Fish, there we go, there we go. Another cichlid, a little bit smaller, but still a solid one. There we go. Fish, fish on. Let's see what we have. Feels different. Is it? Oh, is that a bass? Oh, it's a bass, man. I thought I did it. I thought I had the clown. It's a nice bass. It's not what I'm looking for right now. Come here, buddy. I appreciate that hard fight. I really do. Come on. He's bigger than I gave him credit for. That's the biggest one I've caught down here. He's about the same length as the one I caught last but definitely thicker. A little spark shad putting in work for me. All right, so here she is. Just gotta turn one of these into a clown knife. And we'll be in business. Caught the bullseye, caught the gar, caught the cichlid. I think I still need to catch a tilapia. That and the clown knife. But here he goes. There you go. What's that? I said, has anyone accomplished this nigh impossible quest? Elmer has seen one. I've seen some, yeah. I've seen a bunch. Have you? There's a ton in here. I watch them come up, I watch the silver, I watch the spots, they go back down, but yeah. getting one to hit, nah, man. So that's, that's where we're at. I'm thinking we need shiners. Yep. 100%, dude. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, Joe. That's a big one. That is a big one. Got him. Yes. Spot him from a ways off. There she is. That's another nice one. Another really nice one. There we go. Ugh. I saw a bunch of those clown knives though, dude. Where? Up there. There's plenty of them. You seen them, seen them? Seen them, seen what? them, bro. I haven't seen one yet. It's just full of them. They're up here. That, that was a clown knife. You saw it? I'm telling you, it's full of them. That was a clown. Yeah, that was a, that was a clown. Minnows. Well, folks, the fishing for clown knife <laughs> with the lures did not go well we're back on location with shiners and now we're waiting for the bite that was a clown knife over there that just rose oh son of a bullseye look at it all the bubbles I gotta get up. I gotta get up. I got a big snake on folks. No. Yeah. That mess, wherever I go, folks. Wherever I go. I love that mess. Look at that. What a beauty. What a freaking beauty. Oh man. Let me land you. Come on. 
Let me land you. I know, monster, I know. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Yes, buddy. There she is, folks. What a god, these fish are so beautiful. I will. My <laughs> arm. Man, he choked yeah. that Meps. First cast, as soon as I put that Meps on, man, first cast, she chokes it. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, you your beauty, you. Thank you. All right. Can you do it? Go, 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 go. That's it. <laughs> Give me a second, look here. <laughs> go ahead, buddy. You got it. There you go. Yeah. So, folks, we did nail a few more fish out there on this day, but what we ended up doing was transitioning to a different location to pick up some of our first peacock bass. But to recap for the experience we had here and what we affectionately referred to as the Clown Canal. So Giuseppe got close. Giuseppe got real close to landing the first clown knife of the trip. Didn't quite work out for him. Unfortunately, just like he lost a really big snakehead earlier this day at a different canal. But we eventually did end up locking down some techniques at a later day of this trip for the clown knife. So keep an eye out for that one. But what you're going to see next in this series is where we go to this canal, aiming for peacock bass, catch a few more species as well. So keep an eye out for it. The most productive lures at this particular canal were definitely the underspin for me, the MEPS, where Sean had some good luck on topwater frog, and then of course, the live shiners. The live shiners definitely produced. And then later this day, after the peacock canal, we came back to the clown canal to do some night fishing. So keep an eye out for that one as well. If you want to see it, links to the different lures or the gear in the video description, go ahead and check that out. Other than that, Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and have a good one.